Fully Avail will help you do largely three things. Those will be to uh, gather, collect and gather your content libraries and put some structure to them, make them easy to look through is what I mean by that. We'll also help you once you've got these content libraries gathered and curated, distribute those libraries among all employees inside of your firm and gather some explicit feedback about uh, content that's being used and perhaps some tasks that may need to be completed around those uh, pieces of content. And last but not least, we'll help you get a little bit of insight into how people and when people are using this content. Uh, we're trying to help you all get access to this transactional data that you may have access to today inside of your firm. Ultimately, that's very difficult to do, if not impossible for most folks. So Avail is going to try and make that very easy for you all to see, get access to, and understand in a couple of different ways. And we'll discuss that as well. So just to get started here, as I described, uh, Avail is going to give you great mechanisms to gather or collect your content libraries and put some semblance of order to them. So what we are looking at here on the screen today is, as you can see, a channel full of Revit details. But we want to make very clear to you all that Revit is not the only um, tool in this bag. Avail can, is a completely content agnostic platform. And what I mean by that is that we can handle any and every single digital file type that you all use on a daily basis. So while we may have been looking at Revit details there, I'm going to flip through some of these, what Avail calls channels. Channels are ultimately containers for your content. Uh, and even above and beyond that, uh, very contextual containers for your content. So here we're looking at a channel of 3D prints. You know, there's only about 10 files in this channel. But uh, what's nice about Avail is that these 10 files could be coming from 10 different locations across my network. And I'll, I'll touch on and discuss how that works with Avail. I'll flip through just a couple other of these to help you all understand uh, what this is and, and what it looks like. Um, just to help you understand some of the other file types that we work with. So here's a channel of Revit content, family files. And this may be why you all are coming and, and listening to us today. But as I flip through some of these, you'll see some other broad uh, uh, use cases that you could be using Avail for. So as an example, Dynamo nodes, one of the newer file types and technologies that's being broadly accepted these days. And Avail was built from the ground up to handle all of these brand new file types. And, and again, as I noted, any file type whatsoever. I'll flip through a couple other of these. We've got some manufacturer content here. So here's uh, you know, about 8,000 items, so not a small manufacturer content library. Ultimately, it's one that <coughs> excuse me, using Avail can help you uh, find content inside of these libraries, again, very quickly and very easily. Here's an example of a channel that we use here internally, and this is our marketing channel. So a couple thousand items here. This is something that uh, many of us inside of this organization would not be able to operate as smoothly and easily as we do 